There's number four in your limiting reactant sheet. I was telling you, you have two moles of C7H6 and eight moles of oxygen available to react. None of that, none of that. So that's what we had before. So I'm gonna put my before right there. My change is gonna be down here. My after, once no grams of excess left over after the reaction. So we'd have to figure out everything. Uh, it is a one to 11 ratio. So this needs to be 11 times bigger than that. Well, eight is not 11 times bigger than that. So this is my limiting reactant. That's my excess. So I know this one's going down by eight gonna be zero left over. To get from there to there, it's a one to 11 ratio, so I need to divide this by 11. So eight divided by 11 is 0.73 moles. So it's going down by 0.73 moles. Out of the two moles available, we're gonna use 0.73. There's about 1.27 moles of excess of that. It does want that in grams, so we're gonna take our 1.27 moles of C7H16 and turn that into grams. C7H16 happens to be 100 grams per mole, so about 127 grams of excess C7H16. Four B, I'll do it really quick here. So I figure out which one's the limiting here. So it's saying you have three and 28. Well, if this is three, this needs to be 11 times bigger. It would have to be 33. So that tells me this is my limiting. This is not 33. That's my excess. So if I want to know how many grams of water could be produced, I'd want to go from here, from 28 moles of oxygen being used to water. So I'm going to say 28 moles of oxygen are being used. I have to use that one. I can't use the three here because there's excess of that. For every 11 oxygens, there's eight waters. For every 11 moles of oxygen, there's eight moles of water being made. So I could just get that in moles and turn it into grams. Might as well go another step here and say a mole of H2O is 18 grams H2O. So I'm really kind of doing a BCA table and just adding on a step here. And you end up with 366.5 grams of water could be made in that reaction.